If you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel today, honestly, you don't really need a lot of equipment. Well, it's nice to have big expensive DSLR cameras and lenses and microphones and monitors and all sorts of this really fancy gear. You, you don't really honestly need it because these days, this camera here on the back of your cell phone is pretty damn good. And in a lot of cases, this is all people are using and have used. Most of the big YouTubers today, you'll find, just used one of these for the first several years of their YouTube channel. And as long as you're making good content, the actual camera you've got doesn't really matter all that much. It's, it's what you do with it. So what I'm going to do is show you something today that's really going to help you use your cell phone as a camera for YouTube and get the best out of it. And it's using a piece of software called Filmic Pro. Now, this isn't sponsored by Filmic Pro or anything. It's just a piece of software that I really like to use. And it's got some really cool features, and one in particular that I really want to show you today because it's going to really make a massive difference on how you shoot YouTube videos with your cell phone. See, now, here's Filmic Pro. As you can see, it's a camera application. So what it does is it gives you fine control over everything that your camera does on your phone it can let you choose which lens you want it's got all these settings for resolution frame rate audio stuff um, external devices different hardware things syncing heaps and heaps of stuff you can control the stabilization all of the things which are normally um, automated in the native camera application on the phone you've got fine control over here in filmic pro and the great thing about it is it's a great camera so what I'm going to do is just put that there so you can see a bit of an image behind it and now I'm going to show you the other part of it this is really cool so here's my other phone and on here I've got another app called Filmic Remote I'll just open that one up there and as you can see this lets me connect to another device in this case my iPhone so I'm just going to click on that it connects to the iPhone and there you go now I'm remote controlling this camera from this phone it gives me all the same controls that i've got on here so that i can do everything i want to i can once again i can change the lens from the telephoto to the wide i've got all of the settings available to me here and i can start and stop the recording all that sort of stuff everything's on here what this means is that i can use the small phone to remote control the other phone so i can always use those back cameras which are much much better quality than the front-facing selfie camera of course and that's the whole point of this. Right, so here I am. I've got my phone. It's uh, all set up here. And I keep it in this cage, by the way, which is a really neat phone cage made especially for the 13 Pro Max by Smallrig. It's a great thing. The phone just slots in the uh, side door here, opens up real easy, slides in and out. And um, the lens is a clear hand. It's got the M-mount lens stuff in here so that if you've got some mobile lenses, it fits those straight in there where you, so you can have a telephoto lens or ND filters, all sorts of really neat stuff. Okay, so I've got that set up. I've got Filmic Pro running on here, and that means I can just uh, open up my little tripod here. I can set that up wherever I want to film, just like here. Open Filmic Remote on this phone, hit the plus button, and I'm remote controlling this. Now what I can do is I can move away from the camera, I can walk into shot like I, I like to do sometimes. I can check my framing perfectly. I can see that I'm in the right shot and I can talk to camera and um, I can just hit record. And there you go, I'm talking to camera here and I've got my uh, Filmic remote running so I can do all these really neat things that I want to with the full power of the big lenses on the back of the camera. Not a problem at all. So there you go, this is why this is such a cool thing. And it's not only because you can remote control the camera and use the back cameras on your phone, it also means that you can now put this in places that you might not otherwise be able to. Or you can be a little bit further away from the phone and get a wider shot or something like that and still be able to frame it and control it and do what you want with it properly and um, stop and start the recording when you want to instead of overshooting and using up too much memory for example you can also put this in weird places as i just said where you might not otherwise be able to film say i wanted to get a shot of myself walking down the driveway from the perspective of the top of the van that would be normally very difficult to do but i can put my phone with filmic pro running up on top of the van there and then i can get that shot just like this There we go, that's up there. I've got Filmic Remote running here. 
and I can see down the driveway. So let's go get that shot. Okay, that was nice and quick. I know I got the shot that I wanted because I can see it framed here in my other phone. I've still got my phone up there running and um, collecting the shot. Yeah, you can, you can see us sitting there right there. So this is an incredibly powerful but really easy to use tool that's going to make your phone so much more useful as a cinematic tool. And it's going to help your videos be so much better you can use the really good cameras instead of having to use the front selfie camera you know you're going to get the framing you want and you're going to shoot more efficiently because you can stop and start and frame and make sure stuff is right on here before you capture it instead of just having to point it roughly in the right direction and guess so filmic pro and filmic remote those are the two apps that you want you can get them on the app store or on google play this isn't sponsored or anything i just want you guys to have really great tools go and get those have a play with them and yeah do something awesome with them now if this has been useful to you i want you to click down here and subscribe that would be really cool and hit the like button and share leave comments and questions below and watch this video and this video as well because they're also going to be very useful for you youtube pick them out because they know the type of thing you like and i'll see you on another one soon have a great day